In this video, we'll be showing you the best Optifine settings for Minecraft. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it and let's get right into this. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you've got Optifine installed and you're using it in Minecraft. You can know you're using it because when you pause the game and go to options and go to video settings, it's going to go and say Optifine HD. Um, so let's get right into this. So you need to go and pause the game as I just did and go to the game menu and then you need to go to options. And then once you're in options, we need to go to video settings. This video is going to be perfect for when you're trying to optimize Minecraft for the highest FPS possible. But I do just want to quickly note, all these settings here are going to be quite extreme for optimizing FPS. But everyone's PC is slightly different and your PC may be able to go and handle higher settings. But also you may want to go and trade off, you know, a bit of performance for the looks of the game. Because if you've got a really sort of performance based settings, because if your settings are very performance based focused and the game is going to look as good as it could do. So, you know, it's all sort of doing trade offs. But I'm going to show you the best settings. Um, to go and have the highest FPS possible, but you can go and edit these to your liking. And I just want to go and quickly insert this clip into the video here when you're trying to choose the best settings for Optifine. When you go and hover your cursor over an option, it's often going to go and say which is the best option to go for. As you can see for better snow, um, it being turned off is going to go and be faster and it being on is going to be slower. That's a great way of knowing if you should go and use the setting or not. So let's go and start off with the graphics. So I recommend this being on one called fast. For the smooth lighting, honestly, um, there's off and there's minimum. Um, so you go for off or minimum, um, off if you're just trying to fully optimize. And for the smooth lighting level, then you just go and drag that all the way down um, for the best options. The GUI scale is this what this sort of the buttons look like. So you can go and avoid that. The brightness, there isn't be much difference. For dynamic lights, um, that's probably best to go and be off, to be honest, as you can see here. When you hover over it, you get a few settings as well. For shaders, don't use any at all if you're trying to go and optimize performance because they definitely use lag. Now let's go and get into details. So for this, I recommend um, basically them all being off. So let's go and start with clouds. You can go and click through all these different options. You've got fast, you've got fancy, and then you've got off. So I recommend this being either off or fast. So this is what I've come up with. Like I said before, I recommend these all being off or on fast. But if there's something you really like the look of, then I recommend just having it on fast or even have it on fancy if it's really important to you. Because at the end of the day, you've got to enjoy looking at the game. Let's go and press done and then go into animations. So animations is best to be all off. But there are some things which just look really weird without being animated. For example, water, it just looks really weird. So for that, I'd personally have it on because you look at a lot of water in the game. Um, but a lot of the others can all be off. And that's a great sort of option at the end to have all off. Then go and press done. For the render distance to really go and optimize the game, have it on as low as possible. But if it's on really low, you can't even see ahead of you. So honestly, you probably want it on like at least six or something like that. And the simulation distance, you can go and look at these options here. As you can see, you want it between five and 12 to be fast. So we can go have that at five, even lower if you wanted it to. And the next thing you want to come down to is quality. So in here, we once again can go and change all of these. So things like immersive textures, that can be turned off and that's gonna be a lot faster. And with some of these settings, it's actually gonna go and just relaunch Minecraft quickly. As you can see, it just goes and reloads it. So I'm gonna go through these and I'll show you what I come out with. So I've gone and turned a lot of these off, but not all of them are gonna go and affect performance. For example, when you go and hover over mid map levels, it actually says this option usually does not affect the performance. So in that case, there's no point doing anything. But when I go and hover my mouse over custom items on the right hand side, as you can see, it does go and say um, bit being off is actually makes the game run faster. So there you go. Um, you can go and check these out, but these are my ones. And then let's go and get into performance. So here are my performance settings. Once again, when you go and hover over it, it's going to go and say which is the faster option. In this case, being on is faster. So then you can go and press done. And that's the main ones. You've got other, but there aren't that many important ones here. And of course, if you're unhappy with these or how Minecraft looks, you can always go and press reset video settings. But now let's go and take a look at this. I can definitely go and feel the game is a lot smoother and hopefully you can too. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Subscribe for more. Peace.